everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here doing the Blood Moon Eclipse in Leo reading for you. I actually wasn't going to do this originally, but I am just too darn inspired. Um, after reading about this and having a few minutes to upload um, a video each for each element. So I'm looking at air, fire, water, and earth. So let me explain what your sign is as we get into it. And I'm gonna pick a card from each deck for you just to give you some insight for the next six months ahead. So we're going to leap right into when the sun goes into Leo. Make that seven months. Let's do it for seven months because it's at the end of uh, July that it goes into Leo. So let's plan for the next seven months with these three cards. These are just indicators um, about what you might need to hear, messages you might need at this time, confirmation that you might need at this time in order to move forward. I'm going to shuffle uh, to get a message for you. Now my first video is for my fire signs. So anyone who is a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, this video is for you. So this is your blood moon eclipse in Leo reading. Um, and it is good, these messages will be good for seven months until the sun goes into Leo. While I'm shuffling, I'm going to read you some what I consider pertinent information about this time um, with the moon during this transit. So the blood moon eclipse in Leo for you. Three reasons it's special. It's the third in a series of super moons. It's the second full moon of the month. And of course it is the total lunar eclipse, um, which makes it a blood moon. So that's why it's pretty special. And the last time this occurred was in 1866, 150 years ago or so. So pretty crazy cool. We're looking at your first card already. Here's your second. And while I'm shuffling, I will let you know that the energy surrounding this card for you over the next several months is regarding creativity. Glamour, romance, fertility, boldness, secrets revealed. So I had a couple of cards jump out. As you know, I'm just looking for one today. We're not even going to do the bottom of the deck. We're going to really pay attention to what uh, spirit has to say for all of my fire signs with your blood moon in Leo. Brilliant. All right, so the first card we have for you, the first message we have for you is a change in the wind. This is really just saying uh, one of two things here. Something that you thought was built on solid ground is going to be leveled, but in the best way possible. You may not even be surprised about this or something that needs to be edited within something that you had begun probably within the past, I would say, 12 months um, since the sun was last in Leo last summer. Um, you're going to have to edit that and then that'll be the final touch and then you can move forward. A change in the wind also indicates that you um, may not have total control over a situation that you wish you did, but it's still gonna work out um, to your benefit. Just keep faith at this time. So those are some messages with regard to the wisdom of the Oracle. Divine timing is out of the Healing with the Angels deck for all of my fire signs. Your message regarding your blood moon eclipse in Leo is divine timing. If something is happening right now and you're really feeling emboldened um, regarding the uh, energy around this uh, event, so creativity, glamour, romance, all the, all the terms that I just mentioned, if you are engaged in this, consider this divine timing. This is your time. Keep moving forward. Um, this should be a very positive uh, next few months for you. Um, and this course, this does include romance and it does include creative projects. And armadillo is boundaries. So if you've been looking for a message or you needed some confirmation around um, holding something close to your cuff or um, putting up healthy personal boundaries for yourself, this could be work, personal relationships, friendships. Again, all of my readings are general. Uh, if you want private or personal readings, um, get in touch with me. We can do that. Um, and all that information is always in the description box. But for my general readings for my fire signs this week, we are looking at healthy boundaries and creating these for yourself. So I just want to add a couple of more comments here while I hold these cards up for you, get an idea for the color, the images and so forth. And I'm just going to read you some information that I think could be helpful at this time. So the lessons during this transit are to let go of the ego. In other words, connect with universal human spirit. It's a really nice way to 
uh, identify with others while remaining an individual. Um, you want to cheer yourself on and be bold. Be your cheerleader um, for the next several months, up to seven months here. Perform an act of courage. If you've been putting something off and you needed a little bit of an inclination to move forward with it or you needed to feel confident, now is the time. Give birth to a creative project, even if uh, it includes uh, expanding your own family, whether that's fur babies or having uh, your own children. The next seven months would be a beautiful time to begin this. Uh, you wanna open your heart and align, align your spine. You could be doing chakra work, you could be doing uh, body realignment work over the next seven months. Continue in this direction. This is a very healthy time to do that. Step into the spotlight. Put yourself first, don't be shy. Especially if you have a talent or a creative pursuit here, be bold about this. And then two last things are to share your story, okay? Everyone has a story, you wanna share that. Tell the world, be bold about this, don't be shy. And I'm gonna leave you with choose love. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, this is your time, this is your element. Change in the wind, you won't be surprised by this. Divine timing, be bold. Now is the time, healthy boundaries. You're gonna be able to piece this together, suit yourself up so that everything is going in the direction of your creative uh, endeavors and um, your loving fullness. And you will see magnificent outcomes from this. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And I will see you in the next video. Take excellent care, bye for now.